The Martin P-6M Seamaster was a strategic bomber flying boat, developed for the U.S. Navy in the 1950s. It was planned as a strategic nuclear weapon delivery system, and was very close to entering service. When the U.S. Navy's plans to build a large supercarrier, intended to launch Navy strategic bombers, were cancelled in 1950, the U.S. Navy chose to create a seaplane striking force. This striking force was planned to be used both for nuclear and conventional warfare, and were to be supported by seaplane tenders or special submarines. In April 1951, a requirement was issued for a seaplane capable of carrying a 30,000-pound warload over a range of 1,500 miles. It had to be capable of low-altitude speeds up to Mach 0.91. Martin's proposal was chosen as the most promising, and an order for two prototypes was issued. The plan was that this would lead to six pre-production aircraft, and 24 production aircraft. Allison J-71A4 turbojet engines were used, after problems with the Curtis Wright turbo ramjet that was originally intended. The wings were swept at 40 degrees, and were equipped with tip tanks, that doubled as floats. An all-flying T-tail was used, inspired by the Martin XB-51 bomber prototype. The bomb bay was rotating, and pneumatically sealed against seawater. The first XB-6M1 prototype flew for the first time July 14, 1955. The early tests showed that the engines were mounted too close to the fuselage, and in the following aircraft the engines were angled slightly outwards. December 7, 1955, the first prototype was destroyed due to a control system error. All four crew members were killed when their aircraft was subjected to 9G stress. November 9, 1956, the second prototype was also destroyed, due to another control system error. Fortunately, this time the crew were able to eject and survived. In January 1958, the first pre-production YP-6M1 was completed, and testing resumed. Another five pre-production aircraft were built, and were fitted with test versions of the full combat equipment suite and used for bombing, mine laying and reconnaissance evaluations. The evaluations proved the J-71 engines to be unreliable, and the aircraft had serious control deficiency. These control deficiencies resulted in the P-6M1 program being terminated since it was not considered possible for it to be successfully developed. However, the P-6M2 was rolled out in early 1959. The P-6M2 had more powerful J-75 engines, an aerial refueling probe, improved avionics and a canopy with better visibility. But the P-6M2 also suffered from handling problems, due to the more powerful engines. There were also problems on the water. These problems were eventually solved, but when the Eisenhower administration was making defense budget cuts, the P-6M was cancelled. The ballistic missile submarine was considered a superior system for the nuclear strike role. When the Seamaster was cancelled in August of 1959, a total of 12 aircraft had been produced. <laughs> <laughs>